Tygo is proud to announce SmartSight, our new web portal. Our SmartSight has a new look and many new features. It's now easier than ever to manage your systems and keep them at peak performance. Let's take a look at what's new for installers. The installations page for installers has a fresh look and aggregated data. The icons across the top show aggregated data for all of the listed systems. The first icon shows lifetime energy for all systems. The second icon shows a total of reclaimed energy. The third icon shows the highest peak power for all systems. The fourth icon shows the number of systems listed. Below that, there is a list of all of your systems. Let's go to the next page, the systems page. Here you can see a list of all of your systems, including those that are not yet commissioned. Next, let's go to the alerts page. On this page, you see aggregated alerts coming from all of your sites. You can filter the alerts to show only certain types. Here is the list of alert types you can select from. Let's look at only the string shutdown alerts. Next, let's see how to create a new system in the system editor. The first step is to enter the basic site location information. Next, click on Create. The first page is the introduction page with links to some helpful online resources. Next, we'll go to the access page where we can add users to this system. Click on Add User to grant system access to a new user. Fill in the user details and click Add. Next, let's look at the Equipment page. Here, you will enter all of the equipment information for this system. First, we will add a Cloud Connect Advanced, or CCA. You can name the CCA. We'll call this one Main CCA. Next, enter its serial number and the number of taps or gateways. Here we see the information we just entered for main CCA. Next, we will enter the inverters and PV modules. The top part of this dialog is for the inverter. Ours is an ABB 3.8. Next, we click on add PV modules and that part of the dialog expands. Now we enter the PV module information. Ours is a Trina 285. We also enter stringing and MPPT information. Our equipment information is now complete. Next, we go to the layout page. We start with an empty layout space. There is an auto place function which gives you a quick default layout. Here is the auto-placed system. One string of 10 and one string of 12. Now let's move the bottom string. Click and drag to select the objects. Then click on one of them and drag to move them all. Now select and move the top string. Now let's draw some annotation, starting with lines. Click on the pencil button. Click and drag to draw a line. Next, we'll add some annotation text. Click on the Draw Text button, which has a capital T on it. Click to place the text. Click again to select it. You can then edit the text. Click outside the box or click the check mark to finish.
Next, let's save our work. On the upper right, click the Save button. Next, we will input serial numbers or barcodes, one for each Tygo TS4. Type in the serial number as found on the TS4 label. You can also use a barcode scanner and spreadsheet for large systems. When all serial numbers have been input and all equipment is connected and operating, you can run Discovery from the Tygo Smart mobile app. You must be on site to do this. Let's look at the assignment function. Assignment allows you to change how strings are mapped to CCAs in larger systems. One of the Tygo design rules is that strings must not be broken across two different CCAs. The assignment function allows you to reassign strings by MPPT or by individual strings. Let's look at the finalize function. Here you can review your design and make sure the system is ready for commissioning. The overview page shows you a summary of all of the equipment in the system. The readiness page shows you if each part of the system is ready for commissioning. The completion page has some helpful links including to the Tygo Smart mobile app video. Finally, when everything is ready, you can go into the Tygo Smart mobile app and run Discovery to complete the commissioning process. If you have any questions about this or any other aspect of Tygo technology, you can contact us by emailing training at tygoenergy.com. Thank you for watching.